different names of hormones. Now, I call them hormones, but technically they're not all hormones. I call them hormones because you can probably relate to what a hormone is, right? Essentially, they're signaling molecules. And what these do is they communicate. They're like messengers for the body. So if the adipose tissue, the fat tissue has something to say to the muscle, it can't yell out, hey, muscle, do this. What it does sends out a signal, a message. And that fat cell will then talk to the brain and say, hey, brain, I've got enough fat. Slow down your eating, right? Or, hey, muscle, let's speed up our, our uh, metabolic rate a little bit. Or, hey, thyroid, let's speed up our metabolic rate. This is going on all the time. It's going on right now in you. And each of you have a different resting level of these hormones in your body based on genetics, some of it, some of it based on lifestyle. For instance, who had coffee today? Okay, so some of you guys had coffee this morning. That raises adrenaline levels a little bit, right? So you have a higher resting of adrenaline right now. How many of you got only four hours of sleep last night or five hours of sleep last night? Okay, so some of you have higher resting levels of cortisol right now, right? So lifestyle impacts this big time. Here's the interesting thing. Hormones will determine which fuel is used over another. So you can think of the human engine in very simple terms. You can think of it like, uh, like a car, a car that runs on diesel gasoline or a car that runs on unleaded gasoline or maybe a hybrid car, right? We're each a little different like that. So we burn either sugar or fat for energy. And I'm gonna go real slow here so you guys can kind of understand. When I say sugar, it's glucose. When you eat starch, when you eat candy, when you eat white sugar, any of that kind of stuff, ultimately your body is gonna Make that into glucose, and glucose is going to be burned as energy, okay? So, to me, starch equals sugar equals glucose. There's no difference, right? It's just the speed at which it gets in your body. So, glucose is glucose. 